syllabi, syllabuses, syllabi. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is day four in my teacher prep week vlog series. So I got a lot done today. Not necessarily a lot in my classroom since I got a lot done yesterday, but I did get a lot of setup for my classes um, that are starting next week. I set up my Google Classroom, which this is the first year that I've actually implemented Google Classroom as a thing that I'm gonna like follow through with. So I already imported all my students and I've actually already had some of my students accept their invitations through their uh, school email and I even had some parents sign up under the guardian section. So I am super excited that I'm already getting a response with that. Most of my students have cell phones. So I think that this might work. I, I really had my doubts about it. Uh, and I've shared this on the vlog before that it's really hard without technology in my classroom per se, like a set of class computers to implement something like, like Google Classroom, so I thought. But since looking at the app and the prevalence of phones that my kids have, I think this is gonna work because even if they don't have good signal in the school to access the materials like right then, they can always access some of the stuff at home. So once my syllabus gets approved by the administration, I'm gonna upload my syllabus to my Google Classroom site so my students can actually have access to that information even before school starts. So Google Classroom is looking like a, definitely a go for me this year. Um, I was really excited to use Google Classroom with my co-teacher. I think it's really cool to have two collaborators on the same digital online class. So another cool update that I did today was I visited the laminator for the first time all teacher prep week. So for me, that is actually a big deal because I'm quite addicted to the laminator and I usually laminate everything that I have. Um, I guess that I didn't do as much laminating this year because most of my posters and things were already laminated but I did visit today because I wanted to laminate my back to school stations because I think I might use them again next year and even so I'm going to be using them with all six of my periods and I don't want them to get messed up or anything um, because I think about 180 students are going to be cycling through my get to know you stations and using those. So I'm actually gonna show you my stations in a second. I'm really excited to share those with you guys. Um, some I back to school, uh, first day back, first week of school activities. Uh, I think it's super important to establish a classroom culture in your class right off the bat. Um, so quick update on my wallpaper wall. That looks like it might not get finished at all this year, so I might have to come up with some creative alternatives to my white spaces. So I was wondering why my wallpaper came early, especially since the shiplap, the pale shiplap that I ordered seemed to be out of stock at when I was ordering the third roll and then it got shipped to my house within a matter of a day or two and I was curious how it got shipped so quickly when it was out of stock. It looks like they shipped me the wrong roll so it's like a darker paneling color that doesn't really fit my theme so I think I'm going to send that roll back but it looks like this shiplap behind me is not in stock anymore so I might have to do something creative with a border or some kind of thing to um, finish the wall. So as you can see behind me, there's still like a gap between my whiteboards and the shiplap. Um, we'll see what I do. Update with my donor's shoes project. $618 was donated toward my classroom journal project which I'm really excited about. It was um, finished and Donor Shoes shipped me all 120 of my journals. And as of yesterday, they should have been delivered. I had a pa small package delivered to my mailbox and upon opening it, I found about only six journals in the package. So I'm really hoping that there's a box of the rest of the 
114 journals floating around the school somewhere. Um, I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be delivered yesterday. However, they're somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Like, I'm hoping that they're showing up soon because that would be something that I'd have to contact Donor Shoes about if I didn't get my delivery. I was hoping to get it before the start of school next week. So hopefully it's in my building. It's just floating around. I told people, go ahead and open the box. There's nothing, you know, dangerous or personal or anything in the box. They're just journals. So open it up, give me my box of journals. So like I said, that mystery, hopefully it will be solved soon because I really want to get started, maybe even putting the students' names on them or assigning um, the journals ahead of time because I really want to get started with my students working in them. Hopefully the donor shoes box mystery gets solved. So yesterday I had a little bit of a computer issue. I was trying to do things and my computer wasn't connected to my monitor, which usually is a quick and easy fix. You just like take the VGA cable and you make sure that the connection is solid. However, like my computer setup super complicated because I have my smart board, I have my document camera, I have the projector, I have all these different components and one of those little VGAs got loose and I really couldn't track it down. Um, and our computer, our tech guy is super busy and my, my help desk ticket feature on my computer is broken first off. Second off, I'd have to use somebody else's computer or a different computer to submit a help desk ticket since I can't use my computer. Luckily, one of my colleagues, coworkers, fellow teachers, he overheard me talking to my department chair about how I couldn't find the connection problem. And he shot right in here and fixed it, no problem. Like he just found the cord unplugged and I felt really dumb, but that's what colleagues are for, to fix things that are easy or fix things that I can't do myself, clearly. Um, even though I spent like 20 minutes looking for the connection problem. So yeah, computer problem solved, but I feel like these things always happen in the beginning of the school year when you need your computer the most. So today I did get a chance to run my aromatherapy diffuser and it seems to me working very well. It's not too strong. It is like just a, it takes kind of like the edge off or it, it makes like a very faint aroma in my room. It's not too strong. I think that it's going to work for my students. Like it's not going to bother anyone's noses. I can always back it down a little bit and dilute it, the essential oils a little bit more. Um, but as far as a test run this week, it's really taken like any musty odor and it now it smells like, I think it's frankincense or some, um, calming essential oil so like i said the uh, the diffuser test has gone pretty well this week so i do want to show you all my get to know you stations and it's i'm really excited to show how i'm introducing kind of me and my co-teacher through our bitmojis so let me show you that so all around my classroom i have these giant sticky note posters with small prompts on them so you can see here and here here and here i have them all around my classroom there's eight stations um so this is an example of one of them so i thought it was super cute this is um my bitmoji and this is my co-teacher's bitmoji and we put them on the wall and they relate to the prompt and they really show um they kind of introduce our faces to the students in kind of a, a cute way. So this first one, what is your background information? Using a marker, place a dot on the wheel next to whatever background info applies to you. Do not put your name. So down here, I'm going to draw a wheel. Um, if you've ever seen a culture or a diversity wheel and it just has different um, religions and ethnicities and uh, I'm going to probably put like hobbies and all the kinds of things and the student just places a dot by everything that applies to them. That way when all the students have completed it, they can look at the wheel, the diversity wheel, and see where they fit in and how diverse their class is. Um, so this is a different example. 
This is more of like a general question. If you were shipwrecked on a deserted island without anything but one of these items, which one would it be? So the students are supposed to kind of discuss this question with their group before answering, and then they're gonna write their question on the, the giant post-it. And then again, we have our two bitmojis to kind of illustrate the, the prompt. So I have these all around the classroom. Another thing I did today, I saw this on Smarty Styles YouTube page. One of her, co um, her, her team teachers did this, but I printed out um, mason jars and I stuck them to the wall in pockets and then I put flowers in them. I think Smarty Style, uh, or sorry, not Smarty Style. She, she did, um, her channel showed me these, but I believe you can buy these pockets off of Schoolgirl Style, something similar. Like I said, I just printed these off of the internet. And then I also have letters on them um, so that if I have an activity where students need to walk around the room or I need to level the groups out, I have different letters around the room that students can stand at. All right, guys, so that was just a short vlog today. Um, I'm really excited about just getting started with the teaching aspect of the back to school season and getting started with Google Classroom and seeing my rosters and talking some, to some of the other teachers that I've had in my students last year. What I want to hear from you all is what are you excited about for your back to school activities? What have you planned to really get to know the students and to incorporate the students' background? Um, background information, their culture, their beliefs. How are you going to create that sense of classroom culture and a friendly environment, a positive learning environment in your classroom? So I would love to hear what you've done to enhance the experience of just coming and learning in your room. All right, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, learn often, teach well. I will see you in my next video.